Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we will be doing the camera review of the Sony Xperia Event Dual. So you have a 3 megapixel camera at the back, it's fixed focus. At the top you have a secondary noise cancellation microphone. So you can see that there is a front microphone as well. Voice quality would be clear in video recordings as well. So let's get into the camera interface. So at the top you can see the various scene modes that would be available. The interface is very clear. You can switch between photos and videos mode from right there. Getting into scene modes you can see that you have soft snap which would blur the background, anti-motion blur, landscape mode, backlit correction, HDR, night portrait, night scene, handheld mode, high sensitivity mode, gourmet for your food, your pet mode. There are several other modes. Generally you would like to be in your auto mode. So you have that auto mode, that's auto scene selection right there. You can use that as well. So all these settings would be not available there. You have a picture effect mode as well, which gives real time effects applied on your current subject that you want to shoot. So you have fisheye and several other modes available right there, which you see it's applied already on the viewfinder. So in auto scene selection, the modes are really limited and the settings are really limited as well. So we should be in manual mode if you want to configure settings. So you have white balance settings on the right and you can see the changes right on the viewfinder. You have an exposure controls on the left as well. Now getting into settings, you can see the resolution. It's 3 megapixels in 4 by 3 aspect ratio. You also have a self timer of 2 seconds or 10 seconds. Then you have HDR mode which you can turn on or off. The ISO mode is also available where you can set the default ISO of the image. Next you have image stabilization that will be digital again. It does work a little bit. Images still turn out to be blurry. You have geotagging. You have touch capture enabled as well. And you can use your volume key as a zoom key or the shutter key. Again a very handy feature there. Then you can select where your images would be stored whether it's the internal storage or your SD card. Now let's jump into video mode so that you'll be able to see the video settings. Let's go there now. So here you can see the maximum video resolution that you can capture is actually SVGA. That's 800 by 600 pixels in 4 by 3 aspect ratio or VGA. You can also see the video sample of the Sony Xperia Event Dual recorded in SVGA resolution. The maximum supported from right here and there will be a link in the description as well. Now let's have a look at some of the images taken with the Xperia Event Dual. On the left you have the normal mode, on the right HDR. The colors are absolutely not accurate. These were brown in color, but you see a reddish glow here. However, here you can see the colors are a bit accurate because the lighting was different. So exposure control is missing here. On the right, you have the HDR mode, which seems blurry. And that's the major cause here with no autofocus. Now distant shots again don't turn out to be good. They are blurry and colors here are not accurate. Same goes here. It's a bit blurry. But actually there is not much noise in these images. The colors here are a bit blown out of proportion. However, they look good. They are to an extent accurate. But that depends more on the lighting rather than the subject that you are shooting. So you can see this macro shot, it's absolutely out of focus. So the main issue here is the lack of autofocus. Low light imaging is absolutely not possible due to the lack of flash. Images turn out to be noisy there, but in general conditions, images are not noisy, but they do lack sharpness. But that was the camera review of the Xperia Event Dual. You can watch its review, gaming and unboxing from right here. We have also uploaded full resolution images taken with the Xperia Event on our Google Plus page. There will be a link in the description to check that out. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.